As you can tell, you see the DOD symbol here. So this is the DOD version of Stop the Bleed. Right, I'm the Department of Defense Stop the Bleed instructor. So I'm gonna actually run you through the course. And for, I'm gonna be honest, these are skills you're going to use in real life. May not be in the army, may you may pass a simple car wreck. And you're there, first on scene. What are you gonna do? That's what we're focusing on. Cutting grass, you cut your arm. Drinking wine, you drop a glass. These are the basic things. People get drunk all the time. Hey. For today's goals, this is what we're covering. What is Dr. Glee? Why is it important? Recognizing life-threatening injuries. You've seen on TV, people will put a tourniquet on real quick. You need to make sure you know the difference between venous and arterial. There's a big difference between those. So, I don't, so we have to make sure we understand when to apply these different materials that you see up here. How to stop the life, how to stop the life threat, uh, threatening bleeding, and to get stop the bleed certified. So at the end of this course, you will be DOD cert, um, stop the bleed certified. You need to get with your NCO, make sure you record your name. Then I can go ahead and send those um, certificates to you as well. This is what it is for us with the military. This is not a first aid course. It's strictly just stop the bleed. Some materials are disturbing. If you get sick, you get over. It is what it is. If you get on the battlefield, you'll see worse. This stuff you see here is not bad at all. When it comes to EMS, it takes anywhere from seven to a seven to twelve minutes to get to that scene. That's why it's important pushing this to make sure that you understand this. Based on these lessons learned by the military non-medical personnel, that is us, 88 mics, not 68 whiskey. This is why we have this to save lives, take immediate action. We never know we can be deployed and we need this information, so we want to make sure we have we can do what we need to do. We know bleeding is the number one cause of preventable injury. Blood stays in, it doesn't come out. Makes sense? We have a closed circulatory system. So if blood is coming out, we need to fix that. Yep. Here, traumatic injuries. Break it down. Leading cause of death for people under the age of 46. Major cause of death in all age groups. People can quickly die because it takes us too long to get there. NBCs or motor vehicle and 10 code 1050s can occur, leading to bleeding and bleeding or uncontrolled bleeding. You see, you can bleed out in three to five minutes. It takes us again 17 to 10 minutes, depending on if it's a good day, to get there. And then 40% of deaths in this world is traumatic. That is for us in the military, we respond to a lot of natural disasters. It can happen there. But in the real world, after shooting incidents and so forth. So this is why we stress this a lot. A lot of times your 6A whiskeys come over here and present this, but because we have so much time, I'm going to present for you all. So we're going to be very familiar with this one before you leave today. You have the salt tea tourniquet, similar to the cat tourniquet. The only difference is it has a belt buckle and it's not velcro. Now, summary, here we go. Empower people. That's our biggest thing when it comes to the bleed. You want to be comfortable with it. If you're going to save somebody's life, you want to be comfortable. Understand you're covered by the Good Samaritan Act. Everybody understand that part? So when it comes to the Good Samaritan Act, you act within reason of your own training, you're covered. So, so act within reason based on your training. I tell you now, if you, um, let's see how we say this. How many of y'all carry an iPad or have an iPad? Only a few. Understand in that iPad, if you have a needle, um, a needle D or needle decompression or decompression needle, don't use it. Because anytime you cause openings to that person, that's an advanced level. And these two hooks at the end is where you want to actually sit them down. On the bench, you understand? And it, it connects it there. After I put that on, I'm gonna say, hey, go ahead and have a seat for me because I need to pass it on. Any question on how to use this rarely vanish. Everybody good? When less, the, the blood is slowly squirting out and eventually I'm gonna keep turning until the blood stops squirting out. After that, I then put it in the clamp. Everybody see that part? I put it in the clamp. Then from there, the rest of the bandage goes inside as well. Then the Velcro goes across. Then I write my time. Why am I writing the time down? So you can only be on for eight hours. Then wrap it around. Then that's secured. I will now, then have the ace bandage. I put them on this arm. I have a triangle bandage. And I will use that as a sling to help them out. But we ain't going that far. So any questions about any of these? Is everybody okay and understand how to basically use this, this equipment? 
So at this time, what I need, I need squad leaders come on up, get the item, get with your specific squad, let's start, let's start running through this. Reverse, reverse. Oh, 